Most CAD traditionally starts off with a 2D view. These are known as floor plans, uh, site plans, anything with the word plan in it, and off, very often the word drawing. And you see things in two dimensions. So you have x-axis and the y-axis. This little device is called the UCS icon. It's a fancy term that shows you where the origin of the drawing is, 0, 0, and the direction of the two axes. Now if you switch to 3D by going over to the look from widget and clicking on one of the isometric views such as this one you see that the Z then appears Z points upwards the same way the cursor has three arms and notice that both the UCS icon and the cursor have three colors red is for X green is for Y and blue is for Z if we were to turn on the grid you'd see the same color scheme reminding you the direction of the X and the Y. And the reason they use these colors is because sometimes you can get lost in 3D space. An easy way to think about the XYZ axis is to consider the corner of a room. You have the floor coming along at the X and the Y, and then the Z being the edges of the two walls going up. There are two basic concepts in CAD when it comes to drawing in three dimensions, elevation and z-coordinate. For example, to draw this television on top of the stand, you would start drawing the TV at an elevation of three feet or one meter. Similarly, to draw the window in the wall, you would start drawing it at elevation five or 1.7 meters. An elevation can be expressed as the z-coordinate. Both are measured from the floor, which is at zero. The floor represents the xy axis, and so you have xy at zero and the z axis heading upwards. Let's see how this works for real in BricsCAD. Over here in the properties bar, we see elevation is set to zero. I'm going to draw a box with the box command. A box is a 3D rectangle. So I'm going to start at the origin, click here, and then as I move out, you can see BricsCAD showing me the X and Y sizes of the sides of the box. I click to show the size, and now when I move up, that is the Z direction. So we see that it's two inches tall in the Z direction. I'll click again to finish the box. Now let's change the elevation to something like three inches. Now I'll repeat the box command. It won't seem obvious in this view, that the box is in fact being drawn at an elevation. But let me switch to a side view. And there you can clearly see the two boxes were drawn at different heights. And to make it even easier to see, I'm gonna come here to the properties bar, change the visual style to modeling. And now when I hold down the shift key and rotate the cursor around, you can see that the two boxes are different Z heights and different elevations. It's not just three-dimensional objects that can be drawn in 3D, but two-dimensional objects also. Here's the line command. I'm going to draw it from the corner of one 3D box to the corner of the other box. Press enter to end the line command, and now when I hold down the shift and middle mouse buttons, you can see that the line has been drawn in 3D. And off, let me uh, give the official names for the various parts of a 3D object. So the object as a whole is often referred to as a body or a part. The sides of it are called the face. And each face has four edges. And then the intersection of edges is called the vertex. Mm -hmm.